Hi, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca. I create free, no-fuss workouts ranging from 5 to 45 minutes long. They're safe, effective, require little or no equipment, and can be done anywhere. If this sounds like you, then please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you know when all the newest workouts are available. Today's workout is going to be a 10-minute glute toning workout. You don't need any equipment, so let's get started. We're going to be doing all of our exercises down on the mat today. There will be 10 exercises, 5 for the left and 5 for the right. We're going to start on the left side, do all of those before we switch to the right. And our first exercise is going to be a single leg bridge. Okay, so we're going to lie down. I'm going to keep my left leg planted, put my right leg up, and I'm simply going to roll up and then slowly roll back down. Okay, so we're trying to work just the left side here, so we've got heel in as close as you possibly can. Maybe you can just sort of touch down to your running shoe. And again, you want your abs in nice and tight. Squeeze your bum on the way up. And if you want an extra challenge, you can raise your hand up, or both hands, and that just creates a bit of a balance challenge, and that helps to work the core as well as the glute. So these are 45 seconds long, so we're getting our first break right here for 15 seconds. And we're going to flip over onto our hands and knees and do a rear leg lift. So I'm going to do it with a bent knee. So I'm going to point my toe, and I'm simply going to raise my leg up and then put it back down. And again, I'm raising the left leg. We're doing everything on the left side first. We'll exhaust that side, and then move on to the right side. So this is kind of like a Pilates style toning workout. We won't be doing any lunges or squats, so it's safe if your knees uh, don't enjoy those kinds of things. But I promise that these exercises will firm up that glute, especially if you're squeezing through the hamstring squeezing in your bum. Excellent. Now we're going to do what I have always affectionately called the fire hydrant because you're lifting your leg out to the side. So you're going to do bent leg and you're just going to raise it out to the side and then bring it back down. So it does kind of look like a dog lifting his leg to go pee on a fire hydrant. It's an old exercise. It's been around a long time. Probably your mom's, maybe even your grandma did this. But you know what? It works. It works well, so, you know, if it works, might as well keep doing it. Just because it's not a fancy move doesn't mean it's not an effective move. Okay, so again, nice and slow. You don't want to use momentum. You want to squeeze on your way up. And you don't want to just let your leg drop back down. You want to control it back down. Excellent. We have two more on the left. And we're going to do uh, a rear leg rainbow. So it's like a tap over. So I'm actually going to go right down on my forearms. I'm going to extend my left leg long. I'm going to raise it up and sort of arc it over like a rainbow. And then back up to the front. So I'm tapping on either side of my mat. I don't have a ton of room before I hit my curtain here, but that's okay. You can go as wide as you can. Uh, if you can't go really wide, like if you're trying to do this, I don't know, in your dorm room, in a hotel room between beds, uh, you can focus on going up higher instead of out wider. If you have space, use the space you have. Okay, so if you're fortunate enough to have an open room, then take more space. Excellent. And our last move on the left side is going to be a hamstring curl. So I'm going to go back up on my hands. I'm going to put my leg straight out behind me. I'll be lifting it and then curling it in and pushing it back out. So I'm going to keep my toe sort of not pointed back, but flexed so my heel 
is stretching out as long as possible. And the hamstring curl is one that's easy to just sort of flop your leg around and not feel much, so you really have to go slow and squeeze through it. Um, you could definitely add ankle weights if you had some. That would be a great way to sort of step up the challenge for all of these exercises, you could wear them. And I always suggest buying used. There are so many used pieces of fitness equipment out there, you can get really good deals. Excellent. So now we are going to switch to the right side. So now I'm going to keep my right leg down for everything, or lifting, or doing the work. So we're back to our single leg bridge, this time with our left leg lifting, our right leg down. And again, we're just going to do that bridge, pushing up, using the right glute. Our core is all nice and firm. And again, if you want that extra challenge, you can raise your arms up. Makes it a little bit harder on balance. So what's great about this workout, you can do it in your PJs, you can do it in a t-shirt. Great thing about working at home, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need to put any makeup on, like, you know, this isn't a, this isn't a photo shoot. This is you getting healthy. So put on whatever you've got, you know, your husband's old t-shirt, and just get down on the ground. Okay, now I'm going to flip over and do that rear bent leg raise. Uh, I know many women who are, again, you're working out home alone, they put on a big old t-shirt, and they just have like their underwear on underneath. Okay, so rear bent leg raise, nice and slow. I have my toe pointed to the ceiling or the sky. You could do this outside, you know, if it's summer where you are, or if you're fortunate enough that it is warm and sunny all year round. It is not that way in Canada, anywhere anywhere like it's May here I'm still waiting for it to be warm enough to go outside without oh, well many layers um, but you could be doing this outside on your grass you know grab a mat if you can't lie right on the grass you could do it on your deck your patio your balcony and just you know if you're outside I would wear more than just a t-shirt but Okay, now we're going to do the fire hydrant on the right side. So I'm going to take my right leg and keep it bent and pull it out to the side there. I'm going to make sure I have enough room here on my mat. So, I don't know, you may not be able to see this side very well. Maybe should have flipped around, but that's okay. It's the same as what we did on the left side. We're, side. we're simply lifting the other leg. So these exercises go relatively quickly, which is nice. It's only 10 minutes. You can squeeze it in before your shower in the morning. You could squeeze it in on your lunch shower. If it's a beautiful day, go outside and you know, go and do these 10 moves and you feel like you've done something for the day because you have. Do it right before bed. Hey, now I'm gonna do that straight leg rainbow again. Um, I'm actually gonna get down on my forearms for this one again. My leg is straight out, and remember we're arcing over one side to the other. Uh, you can even grab your kids, get them to do it with you. Sometimes they really, you know, it's surprising what they enjoy doing. So, you know, grab some kids, your own, not someone else's. <laughs> Go outside and do, you know, it's a great way to get outside and do something. Or if it's a rainy day, all go down together to your basement or, you know, push the coffee table out of the way in the living room and take a 10 minute little body break. Mm. It's a great way to get out some energy, especially even like little toddlers will do things like this. Come on, we're going to do a fire hydrant. We're all going to look like a dog going to the bathroom on a fire hydrant. It's hilarious and they all want to do it. Okay, and lastly we're going to do that hamstring curl. So I'm getting back up on my hands. And again, that leg is going to be straight out behind us. And then we're going to pull the heel in. So remember, we're sort of leading with our heel, so our toes aren't pointed on this one. It's our heel that we're stretching out. 
make your husband or your boyfriend do it with you. Make it a condition. I won't watch your whatever movie, action movie, put in here unless you do this with me <laughs> first. <laughs> you have to do it first. They won't do it if you say we have to do it after. I've learned that. I've been married for many, many years now. Okay, we're almost done. Five seconds and the whole workout is done. Great job, everybody. You should be really proud of yourself for squeezing in this 10 minutes today and working on your behind. Uh, please let me know what else you'd like to see. Subscribe to my channel. Let others know. Hope to see you soon.